Alrighty, what's going on, Ingram Muscle family? Hi, guys. I'm Tony. And I'm Brittany. And welcome back to our channel. We got a good one for y'all today. Yes. So we want to we want to talk about the five things not to do while you're on your debt-free journey. Mm -hmm. This is going to be important. The first thing not to do on your debt-free journey is get rich quick schemes. Yes. I mean, those things are like, they suck the money out of you. They yeah. sound good in theory. It's like, oh man, I can be a millionaire doing this and that, but they don't work. That's why they call it get rich quick schemes, y'all. Take your time. Don't get bamboozled. They happened to us. We we did it. That's mm -hmm. why we're putting this out. So don't get caught up in that stuff. You know. And, and most of all, like when you're in a place where you're desperate. desperate. That's when it seems like everything around you sounds good. Mm -hmm. When people come to you with these, you know, these schemes to get money, how to get a thousand dollars in 10 days right. or how to, you know, you put money into this and you'll get back a hundred thousand yeah. dollars or whatever. Pyramids. Pyramid schemes. Stay away from that stuff, you guys, when you are on your debt free journey, because what will happen is you'll end up losing money yep. and you'll end up losing momentum when it comes to your debt free journey, yep. because now you've lost money that you could have put towards your debt. That's right. So just stay away from the debt. It's, un it's unwise. Yeah. Yes. Just stay away from the debt, um, from the, <laughs> just stay away from the get rich quick screams. The get rich quick screams. screams. <laughs> So just stay away from the get rich quick schemes, guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Number two, the second thing you should not do on your debt free journey: worry about other people's opinions. Don't do it. Like who cares, man? Like do you? Don't mm -hmm. worry about other folks, man. Mm -hmm. More than anything, you will inspire somebody on your journey. Mm -hmm. You will. But if you start listening to the white noise on the outside, you get distracted. Be like a little squirrel squirreling off. Don't worry about that. Put your blinders on. Put your head down and grind. You have a goal. You have a plan set. Stick to it. Mm -hmm. Don't start wavering off track. You know what I mean? Forget about what anybody says about this new bucket that you're driving. The fact that you haven't bought any clothes. The fact that you're not going to brunch anymore. The mm -hmm. fact that you're not taking your girls trip mm -hmm. this summer. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about those things because you have a bigger goal in mind. That's and right. keep that at the forefront of your mind when on your debt-free journey. That's right. You sacrifice right now. Get dividends later. Yeah. Let's go. All right, guys. So the third thing that you do not want to do on your debt-free journey is Borrow more money. That should have been the first. It should have been the first. And it's you want to stop the bleeding, right? You're already at a point where you're like, all right, enough is enough. You've had uh, enough of of the bleeding. Mm -hmm. So stop it, which means stop spending on stop swiping that credit card. Stop going to the store and buying more stuff on that Macy's card. <laughs> Cut it up. You know what I'm saying? Just, just stop it all together. And if you stop doing that, you will create a momentum in your mind and in your journey. So. so, number four, stop buying expensive gifts. No more red bottoms, no more Louis Vuitton, no more Gucci, no more luxury things, okay? All of those high ticket items could be going towards your debt. Yep. So don't buy those things when you're on your debt free journey. Mm -hmm. Again, remember, we're not worried about trying to impress people while on your debt free journey. OK, the, you have a bigger goal in mind. Right. So if it's somebody's birthday, if it's the holidays, try to find creative ways to buy things for people that are a little bit more meaningful. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit, get crafty. You know, make some stuff, recycle some stuff, re-gift some things. Yep. Save as much money as you possibly can when it comes to gift giving. Also, uh, if you know somebody's birthday is coming up, go ahead and put that in your budget. That's a good one. You know, put put you, you know, $40, $50, whatever you want to budget, but try to keep it at a minimum. Mm -hmm. People will understand that you are on the grind. Mm -hmm. And if somebody don't understand that, maybe you shouldn't be their friend or they <laughs> shouldn't be your friend. Just a thought. All right, so number five, don't be too hard on yourself, you guys. Please forgive yourself for any of your financial mistakes that you've made in the yes, past. Yes. You have to be gentle on yourself while you're on this debt-free journey. 
That's right. That was something that I went through, uh, just forgiving myself. Yeah. Knowing that I'm the man of the household, and I felt like I led my family into uh, that turmoil. And I and, had to remind mm -hmm. Tony that he had to forgive himself in order for us to move forward as a couple mm -hmm. and in order for us to move forward successfully, he had to forgive himself for those things because I already knew yeah. the decisions that he made then was for the betterment of our family. Right. You know, so even though it didn't turn out to be quite as well, but that's okay. He had to forgive himself so that we could successfully move forward. That's right. All right, family, so that was the five things that we recommend not to do while you're on your debt-free journey. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe to our channel. Share this information. We want to get out this information as much as possible. Uh, uh, we want to increase awareness on financial literacy. And uh, that way we can all be rich. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go. All right, guys, we love you. We love you guys. All right. Until next time. Bye.